Your door slowly. Get out. The traffic stop of Army Lieutenant Karan Nazario leading to questions over the policing tactics of the police department in Windsor. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. One of the officers has been fired, and now the police department's interactions with the public are coming under the microscope following the December incident. Nazario is suing the officers. These traffic stops are all too common on Route 460. The NAACP is calling for an investigation and alleges African Americans are disproportionately pulled over in Windsor and the surrounding area. This is a stretch of road that has become a bedrock for speed traps for many drivers as they travel through these small towns. Statistics from the town show during the month when the incident happened, December 2020, the department was involved in nearly 180 traffic-related stops. The information is not broken down by race. Attorney General Mark Herring is launching a pattern and practice investigation into the police department, requesting documents and information on things like complaints resulting from traffic stops over the last 10 years and personnel records of the officers involved. Is there a pattern or a practice of misconduct, either by these officers or by the department more broadly? And so that's what we're beginning to look at now. News 3 has also filed a Freedom of Information Act requesting much of the same information. Herring says his office will be able to substantiate the allegations from the NAACP if they're accurate and promises to be as transparent as possible in releasing the findings. We saw in the videos of the traffic stop in Windsor was appalling and dangerous and unacceptable. Tonight, the Windsor Town Council is meeting for the first time since the traffic stop came to light. Town officials have kept quiet outside of press releases from the town manager. But with the community pressing for answers. Let me be clear. We all share one common goal up here, and that is that we will no longer stand by silently. Pressure is mounting to provide more information about what happened during the traffic stop and how the town is responding. In Windsor, Brendan Ponton, News 3. And right now, Virginia State Police are investigating an interstate shooting that left one.